Welcome back to Brick Chin. Big adventures in the Necron universe. I don't know how to play, so. Yes, Manny's playing now. Squig! Uh... So oh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain that though in later part. Right. Yeah. So, why is it so hey. long? You're so dead. That's what she said. <laughs> and we shall know no fear. I know fear. Uh, Belly of the bass. So, the Titana bodies. Yay. Yay. All hail the glorious Nightbringer. Yeah. Yay. So, the Chitan make the Necron tier deal. We shall grant you immortality. We shall grant you a freedom from your diseases and revenge against the old ones. The funny thing is, the one that offers them this deal is called the Deceiver. Just <laughs> But the Necrons here aren't stupid. Something called the Deceiver. Yeah, I can really believe them. So How they the fucked you reload. Square? Uh, square. Oh, no. uh, I think it auto reloads oh. too, so. No. Triangle. No. X. No. So no, it, R1. it just automatically reloads. Uh, you're forgetting to take off. There we go, R2. Okay. So. They deliberate all over all this. And eventually the Silent King, the leader of the Necron tier at the time, decides, what's the worst that could happen? Everything! So, the deal is made. And during this time, the, the, <coughs> the Chitan discover they have a better food source other than suns. Um, the Chitan eat suns? Oh yeah, yeah. We just, they're we're, pure we're energy. Yeah. They're physically pure energy. That's I just wanted to make sure I heard it right. Yeah. No, no, that's why. why no, that's why we're not. We gave <laughs> shit to the Tau game because a Tau beats a Chitan, and we're like, that's, that's no, 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 no. The, no, that was not one. It was uh, the, no. an, an, uh, an, an, an Ultramarine. Yeah, an Ultramarine beat a Chitan with his bare hands. He fought it, and it's pure energy. Believe, well, not not his bare hands. Um, <laughs> R two dead. Dude. Uh, something uh, Sagittarius beat a Titan with it a was sword. A cow. No, no, he was human. He's an Ultramarine, like you are. Yeah, his uh, name is he something. He's too. His name is something Sagittarius, and he is so as, as, as swords play. And he beat a he beat a Titan. A transcendent Titan. Uh, Titan. Yeah. So, yeah, tell them they have never normally come across Necro. So. Squid. So it's not really a thing. But yeah, Jatani sucks. But when they got their bodies, they discovered a better food source. <laughs> or a more appetizing food source. So the living souls! I knew it. It's always souls. Everything in the, if it's powerful or godly, it runs on souls. And souls and heresy. Heresy! Heresy! Always gonna be heresy. Oh god, it's enough! Combat roll with X. And it didn't help that the Necrons were You're out of vengeance. seeing the Titan yeah, as gods. You can only pick up more ammo than that. But the leadership of the Necrons here ignored this because, eh, what's a few peasants to and grenades. immortality? Oh no, he's dead. Die. Hold the line. Hold the line. So, the Titan helped the Necron, Necrons here build these Grenade. massive fountains <sighs> made out of living metal. And then the entire race of Necrontier funneled You're into these shot shot the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget, you have your fury. I know. And the He's, marksman. And this is when... Yeah, get, this is you have to hold L1 for it, yeah. It slows down time so you can get better shots. And this is when the Necrontier real... Uh, the Silent King realized that maybe this was a mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that would make sense. That, what, whole metal bodies or working with the uh, going in, every The entire race going inside fountains. Uh, yes. Yeah. And in that Maybe. moment, every last single Necron Find an exit. in the entire galaxy ceased to exist. And began birth to the Necron. And what marched out of those foundries. Wait, 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 cutscene. Damn fine heresy. Goddamn heresy. Continuing on. So, 
What's marched out was the entire Necron army, made out of living metal. No matter what sex, what creed, you were all just skeleton soldiers. And that's why I have a problem with there being a female Necron. Because skeletons can't have tits that define a gender. They are literally gender neutral. They could just slap on armor tits to make the form of tits on it. Well, could they just put silicone on Maybe this is one that's just like, I'm gonna be whimsical and define myself as for men. See, there's a problem with that. Every every low grunts Necron. Just any single outside of It has no personality. They are a soulless machine. Was this a low grunt Necron? I have no idea what they said of the Necron had, but the thing about it is that it's Now, only skill. Necron Lords and the Silent King have personalities. But the Silent King is gone. That's the thing. The yeah, he was King already had... under a box and you had to kill him. Yes. Yeah, he did. That's the thing. The Silent King, after seeing what happened to the Necron in... Well, after the war, he left. After the war, but it was actually also due to what he did, due to yeah. what happened to the Necron, he, in Solemn, left the galaxy. Just he ripped left. out his control chip, which controlled all the Necrons, destroyed it, and for penance, left the Necrons. In order to find a way to turn them Open back the into, the, into the um, Necrotine. But without the play. Yeah. So he's never seen from again. Yeah. I'm well, assuming it's because he just doesn't, he hasn't fucking found a way. No, he hasn't. The hey. thing about it, though, is, at this point, the Necrons, just, they go to a thousand, uh, several thousand years sleep later on. Then they this up. was after. That's they, an impressive bridge. Oh yeah, everything is Imperium impressive. makes is impressive because it's go big or go home. I, I want, I want that. I want, I want. Go big yeah. or heresy. Oh, it's because it's only for bolts. Or it's oh, only it's only for, for two types of guns. It's only for the vengeance launcher and the stalker bolt. Yeah, yeah exactly. <coughs> so, this was before they betrayed, and this was after. Oh, no, they went into slumber after they betrayed the Tatans. <laughs> yeah. Fighting. Yeah. That's yeah wait, wait, let, let them fight. Let them fight. No! <laughs> he wins. <Squid>. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You win. Here's the squig. <laughs> the winner gets a squig. Squiggy roll. Do 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 do. So yeah. Do do. So. The way they betrayed the Chatan, it's never stated exactly how, but it cost Grenade. millions of Necrons bodies. Because Chatan are gods, in the pure sense. Especially since they don't even use the war. Yeah, which is... Yeah. They're able to rip apart entire planets just on a whim from their own power alone. Quit that. I still love. I, I, I at home, the Japan, the Nightbringer is still my favorite for the only simplistic reason of what happened to him. At least what originally was canned and what happened to him. I have so too yeah. much fun with that. I have too much fun with that. The Silent King somehow. He stunned. Quick, get the health. And, and this wasn't the entire Japan race that he did this to. Because when they betrayed them, there was only four Japan left. Damn. Because they killed themselves. Oh, yeah. Because as they were winning, they wanted more power, more souls, and, and to eat their own. So they killed themselves. Until the Nightbringer, the Deceiver, the Burned One, and the Black Dragon were all that lived. The right? Dragon. Dragon, I'm a dragon. You're not that dra dragon. You don't want to be that dragon. Because he can rip apart the entire cosmos if he wished to. If I, he ever woke I up. honestly think Lightning like, wants to be that type of dragon. If he ever woke up, yeah. which he's, he's on buried Mars. under Mars, he's that just there sense. sleeping. And here's the thing: with all the other Titan, the Silent King was able to rip them apart and scatter them across the galaxy as shards. You guys said the Technomancer game might be falling into the 40k universe. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's why we bring this stuff up. Did they ever like talk about that? No, they never talked uh, about because it no said. It's said in a time that Earth is not communicating with Mars, so that could be during the um, an age in Imperial yeah. history when Same. when what all the means? colonies of humanity were broken off before um, they're all regathered. And again. the tech priests Whoops. come from Mars. And it's also the same thing, much like how Event Horizon is also believed cool. to be a connection as well to Warhammer. Because the dimensional rift that they go through is believed to be the warp, because it's considered 
pure hell. So chaos, liquid chaos. Drink the liquid chaos. All right. So anyway, yeah, Mars. Oh, trapped under Mars, <laughs> sleeping. Uh, yeah. Okay, and he's bleeds. The black dragon is believed to be uh whole. He's not ripped apart or anything. I thought I saw a squig on the ground. Squig! Yeah, squigs all over the place. Squig! Yeah, I think I pulled and two. Another the squig! The thing about it is a shard, of, more. a shard of the Japan is a piece of the living metal that is infused with them. They retain almost a tiny a fraction part of their power. No. Okay. And yet they're still able to wipe entire armies off the map with just a shard. Damn. So imagine how they used to be when they were whole. Uh, I imagine absolutely insane. Speaking of shards, just gonna bring this up now. Wait, wait. wait Cutscene. Cutscene. Hoorah. Hoorah. Heresy. I'm surprised the fucking like trade is ripping half. There's the thumbnail for you. <laughs> Like, Gross. this game loves to find the most cinematic look for the fucking marine and turn it into the thumbnail for the thing. Yeah. So, I'm just like, I'll roll with it. I don't even pick the thumbnails half the time. <laughs> it's just something yeah, it YouTube auto-loads up okay. and it's like, but So, I have to bring this up now, because if I don't, it's, it's one of the funnier things. Yeah, you're on the train. Hold on. <laughs> the, the top wall doesn't move the same as me as the bottom wall if you scroll left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's an error. Um, oh, but, uh... Ears. This is an interesting thing, since we're talking about Ultramarines and you brought up the shards. The Night Ringer, when he returned, was a single shard piece. He was, and again, still weaker than, the, than his normal form, he fought, I smell a, a, boss he fight. fought a Ultramarine. The Ultramarine cut off his arm, and in the middle of the battle, picks up his sight and goes, Oh no, my arm's cut off, and just infuse it into his arm. What the hell? And then just starts swinging, and they still couldn't kill his ass. And it was then changed that it's a tiny fraction baby piece of a shark. Like, it, had no, like, it had no power over the net whatsoever. Oh, well, that's not. Nope, nope. Slow. Hey, buddy. Now, Nevrons do use the Chitan still, but only like the sharks. <laughs> the Vengeance Launcher is so unfair. <coughs> no, it's a great friend. Since Necro, uh, since the Chitan can never be free. <laughs> so but if you get a collection of the shards, you create a transcendent Chitan. Okay. And they have to put these in very special vaults. I see. That have that have a stasis chamber. Use its own power to make a shield. Is inside a pyramid and is surrounded by an army of scarabs that will forever, constantly keep repairing it. Because the Titan power is always slowly destroying Because these things can never get free. Ever. I imagine not, because they will destroy the entire guy. Oh! You made him a, a like, So you know what operate. I want to say though? Titan versus Chaos Guns. You know you want to see that. Yeah, that's an interesting fight because the Chitan are weak against the wars. Well, you'd be interesting to see that That's fight. why the Chitan tried to build special devices that would stop the war. Just destroy it, please. Well, not destroy it, but cancel it from our realm. We would, it would never be able to affect us. Because Necrons are weak against that. You gotta get topside. I know it is. Like no, you gotta get up there. Uh, there's no way to shut that off. Okay, so stairs. Yeah, you gotta, I you figured there were stairs. Just want to see if I can blow it up. But yeah, the reason why no, Necrons are absolutely. You're assholes, gonna use it, I bet. They want to destroy all life in the entire galaxy. Uh, just because they can? Just because they can. No reason. What, the Necrons? Yeah. Pretty much. It sounds dangerous, but it's true. Hey. Blow up that the, orc shaft. Man, the plasma cannon. Aim up. R2 to vent heat. Good old orc ingenuity. My way, Try your way. way. We keep fighting until we dead. Overheat. Now for Necrons, I don't think you take it off. Turn it off. Oh, there's actually like, you know, it sticks around and decides to fire on me when I can't fucking do anything about it. You could have ripped it off. I know I could have, but I'm a little busy. But yeah, um, sadly I don't know as much Necron 
more as others. That's because you're not really focused on. You don't. I, I, I know. I know the lore. Oh God, it's not. It was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's better to die for the emperor than live for yourself. The novel you live for yourself. Yourself. It's heresy. Right Heresy! So do you have anything well, more we're you gonna have to pick this up Necros? next time, though. Cause... Oh, we'll bring up more Necrons. Yeah. So, Dimitri's gonna educate us on Necrons. By the way, Tau has time. two episodes. Necron are gonna take like four. God damn. Woo! Necron, See you night. next time. Fuck you, Tau's. Heresy! Heresy! See you next time, folks.